Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. It's good to be back. We're going to get into a fight. I've, I've changed my tune on a little bit. Uh, yesterday I was talking about how this fight was really, really too close to call. I have went back, I've watched all the tape, and I've got a, a new opinion on this. Uh, before we get into Oshaki Foster and Robin Contesi, I'll please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Um, so join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, just $5 a month gets you all the perks. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you um, Ask the Bookie Anything. It gets you the most updated prop bets. And it gets you re request a video. If I haven't done a video that you want to see, let me know, and I will do that video for you. Uh, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> uh, the research and recovery for autism. All right, uh, let's get into the fight. Oshaki oh, Foster, athlete, explosive, uh, likes to set things up off the jab. Great reflexes, great great twitchiness, tremendous athlete, good power, throws off really quick vibe shots that I like a lot. He avoids shots pretty well. Uh, he's got he comes with good pop. Uh, he can switch seamlessly between the conventional and the southpaw stances. He's not a high volume guy, but his volume side is not bad either. It's not terrible volume. He throws. He's selective with his shots, but he will. He will rip off. You know, quick combinations when he decides to throw. Quick hands, quick counter shots. Really good counter puncher. Nice straight shots from the outside. Good sniper from the outside. Moves and avoids punches really well. He can use the ring. He can or he can come forward. He can do both. A guy of that athletic ability with that kind of movement. Typically, people say that you know. They think he's a back foot fighter. They think he's fighting off the back foot. I actually think he's better off the front foot. He's he's better when he's ripping shots, mixing up head and body, coming forward, walking you down. I think that's actually when he's at his absolute best. When he's off the back foot, he's good. Uh, I just think he's better coming forward. You've seen this when he had to take out uh, Rocky Hernandez. You saw this with Abraham Nova. He was coming forward a lot. He can do it. He's really good at it, too. Shoots the jab out sharply, real, real sharp jab, sneaky jab that he that he st sticks out there. Needs to throw it more. Uh, he needs to really commit to the jab. Finishes strong. He's got a really good gas tank. He comes on strong at the end. He, he he's better in the second half of fights than he is in the first half of fights. We've seen this over and over again again with Nova and with um, Rocky Hernandez. Uh, it's been a Part of his story from the beginning, it's, it's who he is. He's a really good counter left hook from both stances. Like I said, he can switch between the south point conventional stances. Has a nice right hook uh, from the south point stance, a good left hook from the conventional stance. Excellent finisher, excellent hand speed, good from the outside. Two-way uh, two way fighter, so to speak. He can fight going backwards, going forward. He can fight from all three distances. Good power, great speed, great, great movement. He is a top-notch fighter. Uh, there's not a whole lot of flaws in Oshaki Foster. Robinson can say so. Good boxer puncher. Comes forward, good volume, gets a little wild. It's a little unconventional, but he can hit you with that awkwardness. It's hard to, and he can hit you with it, right? It's, it's hard to kind of time it. It's hard to track it, and he, you can get caught. Decent head movement, pretty good athlete early on. You see he tired, and he gets more stationary, and his head just gets on a line later in fights. Uh, I think uh, Oshaki's going to tee off on him in the second half of fights. Pretty athletic, uh, but he's got he's got good balance in his step. But he, he often see like he got bringing his legs, but he's often off balance. His footwork is not great. He's always often falling over himself, uh, which is not good. Decent pop, not great pop. I would say six or seven out of ten. He gets hit quite a bit. Uh, he can use jab effectively to set up shots. But sometimes he just, like, leaves it. He forgets to almost start swinging wild. He gets really wild, really aggressive. I'm not a fan of when he does that. 
he throws in volume, so he gets away with a lot because there's enough pop on it that you don't want to just walk in on it. He keeps his head on a line, and he stands in front of you. Lots of lots of endurance, lots of heart. We saw this. Um, it, I keep saying it's his last fight. Not his last one. He's had one fight since. It, it is fight with Navarrete. We've seen, we've seen this. Uh, he stood up to a beating. He was winning the fight, and then to get knocked down, he'd get back up, and he'd get back into control. He'd keep the volume up. He'd keep up a good pace. And he'd keep winning rounds. But it just, you know, he kept getting knocked down. He got knocked down multiple times, which is why the fight was as close on the scorecards. It ended up being a draw. Too many wild shots. Quick beat. He can get in and out. It's just too wild. It's not enough power. It's not enough speed. There's just not enough things that he does well to overcome his flaws in a fight like this. So ultimately, this is a fight that I think goes the distance. Um, I said, if Navarrete can't get him out, I, I don't think Oshaki Forster is, even though Oshaki Forster can punch. I, I think this goes the distance. And you know, there's some, I, I'm showing my Patreon. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys in on this. You guys want to see a nice little parlay? I'm going to share this with y'all. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to share this with y'all because I think it's important for you guys to see this. Over 10 and a half is going to hit. Oshaki Force is going to win. Parlay these two things. Uh, minus 215. Minus 380 uh, for the over. I, I, I want... If you, and not every book is going to allow you to. Not every book allows you to parlay two bets on the same fight. But if you have a book that does do that, like DraftKings, um, I want to show you the the the, uh, the odds on this because the, 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 this is how you can, you can make money because Oshaki is going to win and he's going to win by points. All right, I I think that's a safe bet. A hundred dollar bet. I'm gonna, I'm going to bring up the odds for you just a second. What is it minus two ten, minus two fifteen, minus three eighty. I don't know. Uh, I suck at math. I, I can't calculate poly odds. Uh, you guys are smarter than me. Minus 118. $100 bet on this two way parlay is going to make you. $85.07. Pretty good odds, guys. I like this as a two-way parlay. If you don't want to do that, you can take Oshaki Forster just on the money line. $100 bet makes you $46. I think that's a good bet. Uh, I like the two-way parlay. Just want to show that to you guys. A two-way parlay, two-leg parlay, minus 215, minus 380 on the over-under. Um, take, uh, take, take the over minus 380. Total parlay odds minus 118. Makes 85.07 on all bet. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Uh, letting you know how to make money and how to bring down the house. There's always a bull market somewhere. It is July 2nd, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.